Hello guys, welcome back to Samber Style. My name is Sam. And I'm Amber, and I am so jazzed for this episode. I swear this day was never going to come, but we've officially finished the top rooftop bar. Yeah, finally. It was uh, quite some time, but we definitely got it to our taste. And I can't wait to show you like how dramatic it really was. The before and after, all the little steps. I mean, this is truly going to be probably my favorite video that we've put out so far. It's just, I'm, I'm jazzed. I'm yeah. jazzed. So we're going to take you guys step by step and show you the whole transformation. So let's go ahead and start and let's maybe start off with the beginning. The beginning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's do this real quick. All right, so what was the first project that you did? Okay, so like any good house, we started with the foundation, which was the floor. The floor was a big mess. There was carpet, there was layers of foam, there was all kinds of stuff, messed up concrete. So we took it down to the bare concrete and rebuilt it from the bottom up. So took down the foam, took down the shingles, took out the carpet, and we filled it up with self-leveling concrete and afterwards we gave it a nice smooth uh, paint with like a light gray that blends in with the whole rest of the boathouse. So when we got the floor finished, it was the next step, which was replacing the post. I was initially planning to only change out a couple. Once I got started, I decided to replace all the posts from the front to the back all the way through. I took out all the old existing railing because it was very dated and it was kind of falling apart. So we decided we want to open it up and also open up our viewpoint because the old railing, as you guys will see, was like a bunch of slats. And then when you get your view towards the lake, it covered it up a lot. So we decided to go with cable railing and that definitely opens it up a lot. Um, and then, so after we replaced all the studs, all the brackets, we moved on to the painting. So it was originally like a brownish red color. And then once I replaced all the posts, I had to prime everything. As you will see, there is a metal roof. So I had to throw on some primer to make sure the black paint stick to it. As you guys can see, we went with the blacked out roof all the way through. Okay guys, one of the things that I love to do is actually design the spaces that Sam built. So what I started with is a rendering. So I use this great software called Home Pro and I'm able to actually uh, design within this program and really show Sam what I want when it comes to design and he nailed it. So I really wanted to have an actual like living room vibe, right? Where we can congregate with our friends pick up our feet, put on some Netflix, you know, really have some kind of living room outside. And so here we are. He made this awesome L-shaped sectional. And then we, the, honestly guys, the hardest part, well, I'm saying the hardest part, not like that. Sam actually building it was hard. It was definitely probably harder than finding the cushions, but it was tough. Um, but it was really hard to find these cushions. Um, but we did find them actually locally um, with a manufacturer right here in South Carolina. We'll make sure to link that in this uh, description below. But I, I, I think he absolutely nailed it. And this table was actually something that we already had that we got from my mom. She got it from a yard sale, which I think really, I, I love the industrial look, that natural wood that you'll also find on the L Chef sectional. And then of course, if we're gonna have an outdoor rug, we need a ruggable. So this is actually a ruggable. Um, so it's able to be washed. It's definitely okay. To, it's an indoor outdoor rug. Um, but we're, we're, just, we're really, really, really pleased with it. Oh, and you also have to see this side of the design. We really wanted to have a bar top where we can come and not only enjoy these spectacular views, but this is our, our favorite place to have breakfast in the morning. So me and Sam will have breakfast here. And then it's, it's a great spot to again, talk with your friends, watch some football and uh, just have a good old time. Okay, let me tell you guys about this patio furniture set. So we scoured the internet and we couldn't find nothing. What we found was patio sets for four, five, six thousand dollars and that did not fit the budget. So we decided to build it ourselves. Obviously, we are DIYers and passionate about it. So we just went ahead and built it. Got a couple of inspiration pictures from Pinterest, which seemed super easy and it turned out to be pretty straightforward and easy to build. So if you guys want to get more information or want me to make a video on how to build patio furniture, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to show you guys how we did it. Quick overview, basic design is a couple of two by 12s that started in the middle. We got a top and we got our finishing pieces and a couple of trim pieces all the way around. A couple of two by fours, 
and it's that easy. Stain, you can stain it to any color of your liking and that'll match your uh, decor or wherever you want to put your furniture. I would definitely recommend to build it where you want to have it because it is heavy. What do you guys think of this outdoor kitchen rooftop bar? Believe it or not, when we got to this place, there was absolutely nothing. It was a blank clean slate and we basically built it from the ground up. The first step was to actually frame everything in. I had no idea what I'm going to do or how I'm going to build it. I got all the appliances, cabinet doors, drawers, everything I wanted to put into the kitchen. And I just kind of played around with it, laid it out, see how I can fit everything in and then basically framed around it. Starting with this back corner wall, I just framed up studs because as you guys would see before, there was nothing, it was just a railing. So we put in a bunch of studs, basically how you would build inside a house. So we finished it up, put some plywood on top of the wall instead of sheetrock because it is outside and we definitely wanted it to last a little bit longer. Um, and then we built it out. We've got a, uh, we got our griddle in here. We got an ice machine in here. We got an awesome sink in here that's nicer than the one we have in the house. And then we finished it all off with these amazing epoxy countertops. Definitely be sure to check out our Reno Boathouse uh, playlist where you can see and find all the videos that we did in the Boathouse, especially the one we did on the epoxy countertops and all the special techniques we had to do to get it to where we are. We burned it, we did a whole bunch of things, which was super awesome. And we're very happy the way it turned out. As you guys can see, probably a couple of paw prints. Our cats also love to hang out here, which is awesome. So we got a lot of this stuff we put in this outdoor kitchen from Vivor. Uh, we're not sponsored or anything by them, but I saw it on another YouTube channel and their products are awesome for outdoor kitchens. So these are stainless steel um, cabinet doors and I just went ahead and painted them black. I scuffed it up a little bit to make sure the black sticks to it and this is the final product. We still need to get a couple of door handles. It's kind of hard to find because we got a specific taste. We don't know what we want. We know when we see it, that's what we want. So it's a little bit tricky when it comes to those things. And then I also went ahead and got an ice machine because outdoor kitchen definitely needs an ice machine, which is super awesome. We've tested it out and it worked fabulous. Another awesome thing goes without saying is a griddle. Definitely need a griddle in the outdoor kitchen to do all your hibachi stuff. Then also it, it's kind of hidden with this uh, griddle is the tiling behind it and underneath it. It's also a special tile we got from Thailand. It's got this really bright green and it looks amazing. So these are really special tiles and it's textured, which gave me a really hard time doing the grout on this tile. I definitely panicked a little bit. I thought my tile is going to end up with just black all the way around because it was hard to get that grout out of the texture. So be sure to uh, know what you're doing, maybe small sections at a time when you grout on texture tile. All right, guys. So back to the design vibe that we are going for is the, the whole outdoor kitchen, the whole outdoor bar was all about hanging out with friends and really having a space for all of us to chill and hang and throw some back. Bring your drinks, bring your excitement. So of course we had to have the actual bar top with these stools. These stools are actually really, really cool. We got these from an estate sale um, and they're actually made out of barrels. So they're barrels, they have that green. It just, we, we had these, I think for two years, one of those things, we just kind of had, uh, you know, hanging out around the house and we love them. We think they work out perfectly here. So let's go really into the rest of the design aspects of it. Of course, Sam talked about the epoxy countertop. We love that it broke up um, a bit of that blacked out kitchen vibe. So it gave it a little bit more contrast um, and really that natural tones that we love. Um, and then when we go into the actual bar, obviously the, huge, the, the main focal point is going to be this back wall, right? So uh, obviously the coolest thing I think in this entire space is our Erasmus family crest. Um, so we actually got this custom made um, from Art Signs Work um, is the name of that. We'll link them in the description below, but could not say more amazing things about them. Uh, it just turned out beautiful. We, we love it. I'm pretty sure when we did the unboxing, me and Sam's faces were just shocked about how amazing it turned out. Um, and then of course, if we move on to the wall, we had to have these accent shelves, these little black floating shelves. 
Um, so it is Christmas time. It's about to be uh, the holidays. So we have that green color that we try to have throughout the entire um, space, but we tied in some um, Christmas decor and we'll probably change that out throughout the season. So it's kind of fun. We can kind of have that different vibes throughout the year. So super jazzed about that. And then of course, the main attraction, the little Jojo. The star of the Sambra style, the queen of the house, Zozo Erasmus. Okay, guys, this place still looks a little bit of a mess right here, but as you guys can see, we got this outside painted green. There used to be a vinyl siding on this, which looked terrible, and we kind of figured the same color that we used on top there with the metal siding to kind of blend in and make it all look uniform. Where I'm standing right now, it looks terrible, I know. However, definitely like, subscribe, we are going to do an epic, awesome uh, episode, do an outdoor shower and some storage included, incorporated. We've got a whole bunch of different ideas and definitely leave your comment down below what you guys think will be best suited for this area. We made provisions for an outdoor shower if we decided to go that direction. While we did that, we also replaced all the plumbing and I'll show you guys what we did in there. The next thing we did is we utilized the space underneath the staircase. So there is a video in the Bodas playlist to show you how we optimize making storage underneath the staircase. So we redid this, put framing, and we added the storage space so you can have extra storage space for your floats, whatever you may need. Let me show you guys how, what we did in there besides the storage. So I replaced all the plumbing, brand new plumbing, fix pipe, brand new three-stage filter system, and we also rewired all the electrical coming from the boathouse connecting into the water heater. And there you can see our inspector going in and making sure everything is still good and up to code. One thing I was super, super excited about was redoing this staircase. I think from everything I did in the outdoor kitchen at the boathouse, this was probably my most gratifying uh, thing to do because it was a terrible color of purple which didn't match with anything and it looked terrible. So I replaced everything. I painted it black and gray to match the floor above. And then we also replaced the railing to match it upstairs with a cable railing. There is also a video in the boathouse playlist show you step by step how to install cable railing. And we finished it off with the stained polyurethane uh, handles on top handrail on top of the cable railing system. We threw down some carpet threads just to make sure you don't slip and fall when you come with your wet booty out the lake and going upstairs. Okay, now you guys can see a little bit bigger picture of what the boathouse actually looks like. So we changed this door to black. We painted it all the way through black. We also painted the sliding door black um, just to kind of blend in with the whole theme of black, greens, browns, more of a natural color. So before there was this blue siding, didn't look good. And we took it all off. We fixed all the uh, center block and then we painted it green. And the future plan is actually to have a big mural painted on this wall to make like a big feature wall. We're not sure yet. If you have any ideas, let us know in the comment below. We are on Lake Murray, South Carolina. Something natural that goes with the whole theme and our surrounding nature. Yes, please give us some tips because I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of at a loss of what we're gonna do there. So as you guys can see, the lake is not full like it usually is. During winter time, the city actually lowers the lake. So it gives you the opportunity to do your work and maintenance on the docks. So as you guys can see, I replaced a couple of boards on this dock and to get it ready for paint. What do you think, buddy? So I just want to show you guys quickly here. So we call this the boathouse as it used to be a boathouse where you actually park your boat. So underneath here, you can see still there is a ramp. So this ramp would take your boat straight into there and it's basically a garage for your boat. So before the owners rebuilt this dock over the ramp and they converted that into a studio and we're gonna just redo it and make it a lot better. So in the next video, definitely subscribe as we are going to take this deck to the next level give it a paint and make both of these docks at least look the same and that's going to be the final finishing touch to this outdoor area
All right, guys, what do you think of the boathouse? We are absolutely obsessed, but we'd love to hear your thoughts and comments below. Things that you think we should add, um, things you think we should change, um, all of that jazz, yeah. right? Let us know. We are adding a little feature later on. We'll definitely make a video about it. Pretty cool thing, but let us know what you guys would add and if you like it. I mean, no, we're a little bit biased because oh, yeah. it's ours <laughs> and we made it to our style, but let us know what you like. Yeah, so make sure to like, subscribe, like you said, comment below, and really make sure to stay tuned because this is just the first project of many at this Fixer Upper on Lake Murray. We are so excited to share it with you guys. Thank you for staying tuned for this vlog in the video. We know you're true Stamper style. Um, yeah, supporters. Supporters, there we go. Yeah. Stamper style supporters, that's us. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much. Um, again, we'll see you next week. Um, stay tuned. Goodbye. Peace. With the blackout. Uh, outdoor kitchen or oh, as you guys can see we went with the as you guys can see we went with the blackout oh, outdoor kitchen to find cushions that actually fit the um that actually fit calico with the catitude But for the meanwhile, we painted it black. What did I say? Did I say something wrong? And I also don't think you have to talk that loud. Because okay. the mic's right here. It's pretty loud. <laughs> I'm a yeller. Mm -hmm. <laughs>